Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna be watching episode five of Moon Knight. The episode's called Asylum. At the end of that last episode, Mark and Steven looked to be trapped inside of an asylum. They were trying to make it seem like he imagined the events of this whole series, but we know better than that. Hopefully they're alive and hopefully they escape out of this asylum. Let's get into it. Uh-oh, who's that? Sound Is that like Steve as a child? Oh. You're fine. Oh. Mark, Mark, your mind is violently vacillating between sense and nonsense. Uh-oh. So you're some kind of, I don't know, superhero. You're not oh, really shit. a doctor. I, I feel real. This is crazy. What is going on? You were with a rhinoceros and a hippopotamus. You're right. I'm, you're right. It, it was a hippopotamus. Do you think that is sense or nonsense? This hippo could break down the walls between you and Steven, and we might finally understand. You were talking to me about a boy. Do you remember that boy? Mm -hmm. You think you could tell me about that little boy? It's a little boy. So that was that the little boy we heard scream? I mean, I would pay you a lot of money in, in this place. Wait, Wait that doesn't sound God, like. I felt so good. I want to mm -mm. see myself out. Thank you, doctor. That's a different accent. Yeah. Be gentle with him. Be gentle with him. Uh oh. Listen, I... Ooh. Oh. 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 oh, man. Just a second ago, I thought that I'd been shot to death. Oh, gosh. I'm afraid you're actually quite dead. Ah, aha. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the realm of the Juat. Juat, the Egyptian mm. underworld. Mm. This is Tawerit, goddess uh -huh. of women and children. And she's guiding us through our journey to the afterlife. Oh, wow. there you go. The afterlife? An afterlife, not the afterlife like the ancestral plane oh just mm. gorgeous it's from uh black panther mm -hmm. <laughs> she's cute right you may perceive this realm as something more easily recognizable to you mm. okay. a psych ward's a first for me but yeah hey, <laughs> you can roll with it right <laughs> <laughs> dr harrow's right dr harrow this is an organizing principle and there's crawley probably about to yell bingo Oh They're on a boat on the sands. Wow. If your heart's balanced in life, then you will spend eternity in paradise. The field of reeds. Mm. What the heck? Oh, oh, look, that. look at that. Why they look like that? Right? They're like they look stone like, like or something. Like stone or like wax or something. See, the ancient Egyptians believed that the heart was, was the sign of who you really were in life. If the scales balanced by the time you end the journey, then a soul is permitted to pass into the field of reeds. Mm. What if you don't balance? The dead will drag you down into the duat, where you will remain forever, frozen in sand. Fingers crossed for you guys, hey? Oh, man. <laughs> There's no way we're even up down there. Oh, the damn. Field of reeds either. All right, what are you proposing? If it comes to it, kill the hippo, steal the boat. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> I don't know if it's that easy, my boy. Why is it, Why is it moving like that? Uh, I don't know. It's the heart. It's like they each feel incomplete. What does that mean? Without balanced scales, the duet will eventually claim your soul. Get in there and show each other the truth. Balance your scales before we arrive at the field of reeds, mm. or your souls will be destroyed. Oof. Damn. Steve, what are we going to do here? We're going to like revisit every single memory I've ever had? <laughs> Do you remember this? I don't know, it's, it's a street. You know, how many streets have you walked down your whole life? What the hell? Guessing whose room this is. Goodbye, <laughs> 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 grab on. Oh, you know these people? Oh, damn. What, you know these people? Oh, sure, they're not. These are people that he killed? They were criminals, murderers, damn. predators, the worst of the worst. Kanchu wanted them punished. Damn, mm. this was just what Kanchu had him do. I kept wishing I'd fail. One of them would kill me instead. Mark, do you see this? Look, it's, it's, the scales are slowing yeah. down. It's working. Mark, mm. Mm. why is there a child in a room filled with people that you've killed? That one's alive, though. Don't, don't hey, go near him. Man, what's your name? There? Oh, wait a moment. The way Mark acting he must be Come hiding on, something. Mom, Mom? Who's ready? Uh -oh. Who's hungry? Mom, come check out my drawing. He drew the fish with only one fin. Mark, be nice to your little brother. I'm not hungry. Wanna go to the cave? We'll eat later. All right, so Mark's in green. Damn, don't tell me he killed his little know, brother right? by, like, by mistake, I would imagine. But damn. Later, skaters. Later, like skaters. Marks. Can you 
Yeah, that Dr. Grant. I sure do, Rosa. Dr. Grant? Mm -hmm. Mom said not to when it's raining. It'll be fine. Don't be a baby. Why is that? What the heck? Lads! You have to get out of here! Rising way too fast. Oh man. Also, oh, it wasn't like on purpose. They no, just didn't yeah, know. it wasn't on purpose. Just something he feels terrible about. We have to leave now. Did you hear me? Oh no. Ah. Uh, ah <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, God. Follow my voice. Oh, uh, this is what we heard in the beginning. Just a memory. Oh man. So you got a rabbi here? Yeah, because he's Jewish. I want my Roro back. I want him Damn. back. Damn. Dang. What are you doing here? You were supposed to keep him safe. Damn, she's Damn. really going to blame him. Your fault! Oh, it man. It is. Your like... fault! Oh, Damn. dang. She's not coming. Damn. Your mother's not feeling well, Mark. We'll do it just you and I this year. You okay? That's terrible. That's not right. He a, they, he a baby too. Yeah. They don't know no better. She made him feel like it was his fault. So mm -hmm. that's why he's carrying this burden. Can't have a birthday without your favorite cake. <laughs> Damn, at least the dad was still doing yeah. his part, you know? But like you could tell the mom clearly was nasty to him. Yeah, she just made him feel like shit. Ever since he was born. And what, she drinking too now? Yeah. I mean, it's understandable. Obviously, yeah. you're going to take it hard as the parent, but... I sh should have known you would do something like this. Like, why are you saying stuff like that? Why are you remembering her like that? That's not what she was like. Mark, son, please come inside. She will get help. Damn. Damn. We will fix this. You're supposed to fix this. Oh, man. I cannot lose another son. Oh, please. oh my God. Damn. Sheesh. Like, he need to see this. You need to come to terms with it. Well, he went to war or something? Turns out going AWOL in a fugue state gets you discharged from the military. Didn't have a ton of options after that, so I went work for hire for my old CEO, Bushman. Mm -hmm. the job was to raid an Egyptian tomb. Bushman changed the plan. Called for no witnesses. Hey, that's that. Uh. I tried to get them all away. Damn. But we didn't make it. What happened to you? Oh, I guess he got shot and then he was approaching Kanchu. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Damn, he got effed up. Oh, man. Okay, well, he wasn't lying that the, uh, his partner was trying to kill him. Yeah. Damn. What a waste. The hell are you? Uh, I am the god Kanchu. Okay. In search of a warrior to be my hands, my eyes, my vengeance. Do you want death? Or do you want life? There you go. Dang. Damn. He was manipulating you from the start. Sure was. Oh, it was just a way for me to keep being what I've always been. The killer. That's deep. Um. And bring my vengeance to those who would do them harm. We know what happened after this. Yeah. Then rise. Oh. Rise. Moon Knight. Yo. Oh. <laughs> that's my Moon Knight. Oh. oh. That's yeah. hot. What's going on? Unbalanced souls are being judged and condemned to the sands before their time. Oh, this is bad. This is evil. Evil, yeah. see? Even if I could send you back up there, you wouldn't be able to heal. Please help us free Conchu. Are you sure yeah. you want to be with Conchu again? This is our only shot. That's where wow. it's going. Please, that way, you have to help us. Oh, oh so she's going to bring him back. Cyrus is not going to like this. Screw Osiris! Oh. It's his fault anyway. Cut those scales balanced. We won't oh, let you down. Man. Yo. Yo, I'm happy we got to see how it all went down with him and Kanchu. And then when he was explaining it to Steven, he's like, I was just able to be what I always been, which was a killer. But he yeah. got that feeling from his mom from what happened with his brother. You exactly. know what I mean? So it's like, ah. Oh, it's just that's terrible. Sad. And then even how his father's like begging him to like stay. Yeah. But it's understandable. So okay, he clearly was like between 17 and 19, let's say, when he decided to leave. I'm going to go through that torture every day. It's just terrible that she suffered, but then she decided to put all her pain onto him. Yeah. Yo, this show has been top tier. I think this might be my favorite Marvel show that came out. That we've had so yeah, far. Yeah, I, I, like every time we watch I'm like, oh, this is hot. No, like, this is my favorite. We can just talk. Let's just talk right here, right now. I'll tell you, I'll tell you everything, okay? I'm just begging you, don't make us go there again. 
It's not worth it. Wow, he really don't want to go back. That's his worst memory. Mark, you're about to lose everything. If Layla dies, that's on your head. It'll be all your fault. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no. Oh, man. Stop it. Oh. Yeah. Now he back with this clown. Wow. And he's trying to make it seem like he imagined this whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh. You've been peering inward, looking deeply into all of the moments that make you, you. Probably all types of drugs in that water. Mm -hmm. Do you think you created Steven to hide from all of the awful things you feel you've done in your life? Or do you think Steven created Mark to punish the world for what your mother did to you? Can you remember? Mm. To know. You're gonna have to open up to Steven. There can be no progress without understanding. I mean, that's one thing I'll agree with you, Arrow. Cause I wanna know what's going on. I remember some things, but I don't remember this. Stop, Mama, stop me, Mom. Mark, open this door. Uh-oh. First, she probably was beating on him. Oh, wow. Oh, so that was there. Of this place. Mm. Mm. Ah. Damn. Wow. So yeah, this has been going on since then. When danger is near, Stephen Grant has no fear. You made me up. He actually does have. <laughs> he's like the more fearful. One. Yeah. Uh. You're gonna learn. So listen. I knew it. I knew it. You're not meant to see that. That's the whole point of you. Damn. All this time I thought I was the original. But I'm just something that you made up. You've got to live a happy, simple, Damn. normal life. You understand? Wow. Wait, you want to remember the truth? That you had a mother that beat you? That hated you? That, that made your life a living hell? You're lying, you're just trying to upset me. But you've gotten to live thinking that she loved you, that she was kind, that she's still alive. She's alive. I speak to her every day. What are you talking mm, about? So it was her mm -hmm. that he's been calling. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me oh, out. Oh, Steven. Oh, dang. This episode is wild. They're making you feel every emotion. Steven, I'm your doctor, remember? Oh, you're my doctor. I'm here to help. Dr. Harrow, yeah? Wow. Well, you've really gone up in the world, haven't you? A little haircut. A little hair tash there. <laughs> <laughs> Ned Flanders. <laughs> Ned Flanders. <laughs> I brought this here. After your mother passed. You say that again. My mother is alive. You say I, that again. I, I will I, I, freak out. I promise. I what do we call her? She's afraid of Tully Sale. She sure will so talk to you. Don't do that. It's ringing. Don't bother her, please. Yes, this is Dr. Harrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stephen's here. He'd like to speak with you. Would you like to speak to your mother? Damn. My mom is dead. My mom is dead. I guess he came to terms with her. Damn. Oh, that's what he was doing. Damn, he couldn't even go see his dad? Damn. Oh my God. Damn, that's rough. Yo, my man is acting his ass off, man. Oscar Isaac is killing it. Oh, shoot. So we got Steve. He just couldn't deal with it. So the moment our lives started bleeding into each other, all those horrible things that she said to you, she was wrong. It wasn't your fault. I, sh I shouldn't have brought him in that cave. I shouldn't have brought him in the cave. Hey, you were just a child. Absolutely. It wasn't your fault. You're just doing what children do. I'm so sorry. Your scales never balanced. The unbalanced souls of the Jewart now must claim yours. Oh no. Oh shit. Time to fight back. Damn, oh, this Wait, is how, so you get so you get jumped in the afterlife? New York, goodbye. It's the people that he took out. You gotta take them out again. Oh. Look at their their faces are made right? out of sand. How That's do you wild. Even... Ooh. Oh! Damn, took his teeth out. You need to jump in there, Steve. Mark. Your boy out. You've got this. Oh man. So I've got this too. Absolutely. Get Come in on. there. Tear there we up. go. This is wild. Knock his head off. Hey. There we go.
Toma, toma, right. toma. Get angry, Steven. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's so Are they cute. just they're just gonna keep oh, coming shoot. though? Yeah. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> Steve! Oh. Steve! Steve! No. Ain't no way Steven's Damn. Steven. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No. Oh, man. Rip. Oh. Damn, they didn't even, like, finish their little Really? Oh, so he, damn. So Steven's gone. Wow. wow. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, my God. Stop the boat! Stop the boat! It's too late! Oh, oh now shit. it's balanced? Scales are balanced. What? What the hell? So they let him in the field of reeds? What? Why would him being gone balance it? Is it just him coming to terms with everything? I and don't now know. that he's gone, it's like you gotta be good with yourself type of thing? Wow. I was wow, not that expecting that ending. that was a good-ass episode. I think out of all of them, that's probably my favorite one so far. So much information, the acting, like, every scene where it was, like, something that was, like, sad or, like, a trauma. It just, you just felt all of it, you know what I mean? Whatever award they be giving these people, he needed. We were thinking maybe it was a trauma of him becoming Moon Knight. It's like, no, he's been, he's had this since he was a kid, the whole thing, you know? Yeah. Like, the split personality. And that's, I mean, that's very a traumatic thing to happen. Like, yeah, I lost my brother. Lost the brother, and then the way the mom was treating him, like, that's just so sad. Damn, we lost Steven. I was not expecting him to be the reason why it didn't balance, though. I think maybe the only way that it makes sense for it to balance is because Steven or Mark, technically Mark, because Mark created Steven, but Mark was able to really come to terms with everything and like why Steven was created and just going rehashing everything and going through the trauma and like for Steven to be aware of it, that's why it's like, okay, like it's done now. The rest of his uncertainty made it where you're balanced because you know everything, whereas Steven still was figuring it out. So now is he going into afterlife or now is he gonna head up Mark to try and help? I think now at this point it might be maybe she'll be like it's up to you because I know that you didn't want to be with Kanshu again uh -huh. so you want to stay here now that it's confirmed that you can stay here or do you want to go back so yeah. we're going to see him kind of fight with himself like I could be at peace finally or I got to be back with Kanshu so he's got a decision to make this may have I'm, I'm like he's one of my favorite actors because could you imagine all the trauma he had to put himself to go through these emotions back and forth like this? It's going to be hard for them to follow that episode up, but we have the season finale next week. I'm excited. I'm excited too. Let us know in the comment section, what was your favorite episode so far this season? Make sure y'all check out our reaction to the season finale, and we'll see y'all then. Peace. Peace.